Oh. Oh gosh. Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. One decent shot, the rest not. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the new, not yet released, Eagle McMahon Rainmaker Flex 3 Color Glow Rainmaker 2, I don't know. It's this year's Rainmaker. Thank you so much, Tree, for the birdie, by the way. That's gonna be coming out in a few days. Discmania actually sent some out, so big shout out to Discmania. So we're gonna do a Johnny Putter Reviews, where we play 18 holes at the most popular course in America, Johnny Roberts Disc Golf Course here in Denver. Right now, here is the leaderboard, because we're putting all the putters against one another. 10 down is the lead, with five points in the ace race, because the ace race, with whatever extra discs that we have, is the tiebreaker. I was throwing these around a little bit to try to ace some shots. And so I figured them out a little bit because honestly, the hand feel for me is not ideal. Obviously, these are great discs for a great player. Like Eagle McMahon will beat me nine days out of the week. But also for putting, they're a little bit interesting, which is why I'm really grateful for that tree to just kick it under the basket for us. We're still gonna ace run everything because that sounds way more fun than just trying to park everything. Get in. Oh, oh my gosh, bye-bye. For their numbers being basically almost a P1, I think they're kind of a mix between a P1 and a P2, which I think the old like rain, I don't know, maybe the Sky Gods are P2s. These are interesting because I really like P1s. The hand feel of P1s even isn't amazing, so I was hoping that these had like a better hand feel and a similar stability. But so far, I think they're slightly more overstable. Oh, the drop. And the hand feel I think is just slightly worse for my little baby hands. As always here at Johnny Roberts, a bogey means that we're giving one of these guys away. Two of the patrons, the sponsor circle. If you wanna join the sponsor circle, there's four different tiers. You get an extra video every month and some other benefits. Links down in the description if you wanna check it out. I'd rather get an ace than park everything, but I still like want these to get a good score because I think they're good discs, you know? I think if I played very bad with them, Eagle Big Man would never talk to me and we don't want that. Someone had said that I should go back to straddle putting. I'm like, no, my inline putt is like, it's working for the most part. But I had so much more practice in straddle and I haven't been practicing any putting for like weeks as we've been moving. So I think we're gonna go back to straddle today. Thank you, commenter. And I think for a deeper putter like this, it helps me to keep it online or a putter that is slightly less comfortable in my putting grip. So. Real quick before we get on to hole number three, I'm gonna send you back to the practice basket where I talked a little bit about why this isn't the most ideal for me in putting while well, I we kind of figured it out a little. I would say putting with these is not super conducive to my size hands and the profile. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Jester Discs Love that I reviewed, which I think is similar to the Bullet, where it slopes down a little bit at the bottom edge. They're just a little bit deeper, which makes them slightly more comfortable to putt Ooh, than the Loves, but I'm not really getting clean, clean releases with my style of putting. Too much of the pad of my finger is sitting right here where I want it to kind of sit like this. I have to put my thumb in an awkward position because of how slightly bulkier it is. Obviously, these were made for Eagle Wing Bands putting, so they're gonna work for a lot of people to putt. I would just say that they're probably half and half baby hands approved. It just depends on your style of putting, because if you putt like this, or with your finger on the rim already, you're probably gonna like them. All right, hole three, longest hole on the course. 273, all the way down there. Going purple, guy. I was doing some form change yesterday and figured something out and like was thrown consistently over 400, but I don't think it correlates to putters. I really need to learn a fan grip. Get under it. Oh, so lucky, get in. Oh! All right, it does correlate in terms of power, but not in terms of accuracy, because that was shankopotamus with the best miss possible. Oh, the drop, dude. Okay, it's a little baby flip up, but not a lot. That was also an ugly throw, but all those are pretty solid, honestly. So I think MVP walked so that all these companies could run with putting half flight numbers on there because these numbers are 230, 0.5. Definitely not as understable as the P1s because those things kind of flip out of the box. I think a lot of that has to do with the beveled edge down there. Not 100% sure. Oh. Yeah, straddle putting is good, whatever and I'm wanting to practice inline a lot more for my season so I can have both weapons all the time. I was hoping that that 0.5 wouldn't add a crazy amount of stability, and I'm sure that these will beat in, maybe not super fast, but relatively fast, because they're a, a, a stiffer baseline plastic. They're the Flex 3 Color Glow. I don't actually know if they glow, though, but also shout out Manny Trujillo, another Denver guy who made the stamps for these. 
and it could just be the elevation, but I would for sure say that these are either like 2401, maybe 2.40.5, but they could definitely hold some Anheuser, hold some torque. No, we'll just throw it nose up, hit something. Oh, that was bad. Need some less Annie on that. Whew. Wasn't our first shot, but we landed here. Let's make it. Oh, let's go. Twister, it's luck. Oh, it's so lucky, it's so lucky. Get some redemption for you, peachy boy. Yeah, dang it, I didn't want to have to go back to a straddle, but it's nice to make some putts. All right, this one, my by far least favorite hole in the course, super gimmicky, because you're just throwing over this crap. Got a headwind now, so not ideal, but straight ahead, just a lot more spin than speed on these guys. Oh, get out of it, please. Oh, well, we hit a tree. That's better. Drop in. Oh, parked it. Oh, it's low. Oh, that's ugly. All right, White had a really good drive last one. So we'll ace it with it this one. Oh. All right, a little outside the circle. This is the range that I like having the inline putt for because I feel like I get more power up to 55 feet, but literally only today, I don't know why it took me so long, I realized I probably have 10 to 20,000 reps of the straddle and like maybe 2,000 of the inline, so it's gonna take a little more work. Oh God, see? All right, 240, uphill, straight at it. Honestly, flat to slight hyzer a little bit right and pretty hard. Well, didn't ace it, but, oh, juiced. Get through. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, one point for the ace race. Dang, that was sick. All right, 170 feet dead ahead. We're gonna try to put these on a forehand. A little bit of a left to right or right to left wind. Should probably turn the right way to call the correct wind. I do think these will hold some pretty good forehand torque, especially because I have a pretty spinny forehand that I focus on a lot of hyzer instead of on a lot of speed. Oh, that flipped up a bit. I should probably make sure it's actually SS or one, two, four, five. Yeah, 38 feet. Good catch, let's go. I think these require a lot of spin because when they start to slow down, they start to dump. They can bounce off the chains a decent bit. Like they kind of get hung up instead of just like falling into them. So that's interesting. So if you got a spinning putt, it's gonna be really good. Alrighty, hole nine, 240, up and left. No, get over it, get over it, get over it! Oh, jeez. That's in the water. That's in the water. Yes, good tree. That would have been nuts. Man, we got some good luck with these guys right there and the white one right over here. Honestly, that's a great little picture. Just give me one of your fancy bags for the licensing of that. Lefty putt. Didn't go very well. Flipped in the headwind. Get off that tree! Oh my gosh, I hit that tree every time! Oh, I thought I made it. Shoot. All right, purple guy for sure. Well, Annie, sit her down in there. I don't hate it, I don't hate it, I don't hate it. Drop. Oh, that's it. That's the one. Oh my gosh, deep? People make disc golf like grip products. Here in Colorado, you need disc golf lotion products. Rehydrate your hands so they don't crack. 
nuts. All right, hole 12. Let's hope the shot isn't as trash as the setting. This was the hole though that when I was running a little bit earlier, hit two out of four. I'm liking these 45 footers when I hit trees. Oh, I'd win. Right. They're straight when you spin them. All right, hole 13, 230. This one's one that always kind of tricks me up because it's just a straight shot, but there's a little low ceiling on the right. There's that tree on the left. So I think we got to go peach guy because I'm feeling it. I'm honestly just going to throw straight at it. That is not straight at it, dude. I definitely over rotated. That's straight at it. And that's parked. Don't over rotate, kids. But make your step butts. Oh man, those things are glidey. It always surprises me. On the putt, when you put just enough spin, it just kind of wants to go forever. These are great park jobs, but genuinely, if the profile of this was different, a little shallower, which it's not because it's for a freaking best player in the world, not for a little scrump like me. But I would think about it because I like how stable it is. And I like a glidey, neutral, stable putter because my peers can be a little flippy sometimes, which doesn't give me the confidence to really juice them. Another shorter here, 155 feet, straight ahead. This is one where, come on, we gotta hit some metal. We only got one metal right now. Get there. Oh, just short. Oof. Don't throw it high though. No, too low. Oh, so good though. This one's pretty good as a catch scam. Purple first, baby. Oh, too much tail. Juiced it, man. That could get it. No! Oh! Man, I really thought I had that one. No headwind. I even called the headwind. All right, we still need two of these last three. All right, 145 there. It's just a spike hyzer, you know? You want man specialty. If I had a grenade, I would do it, but I'm terrible at that. Oh, just a little deep. I could do it. Ah, oh, too left. Practice that lefty real fast. Drilling it. One of them, hole 17, 243. Going back to the photogenic boy and then we'll do the pink one last because that one also looks sick. Straight ahead, I think since the wind's pushing left to right, flat to just a little bit left of the basket or slight ante, a lot left of the basket will be good or slight hyzer straight at it. Oh, that's so far. Oh my God. That's good. No, stop finishing. Stay, 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 dang it. Always tends to be that the first shot's the worst, which makes sense. Let's have the circle again, really? One, two. For me, it's 12 steps. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so it's about 40 feet. So if you ever wondered how far it is for a little baby like me, if I step 12 times, that's how far 10 meters is. Basically every step is about two and a half feet. Great putt. Let's go. All right, hole 18, we have the record. Only one metal hit though. We're gonna throw some annies with these guys. With my uh, new form stuff that I'm working on, it's becoming easier. Not great, but easier to throw on the angles that I want to, so. Pink eye, like I said. Way too terrible. Oh, I deserve to step in that puddle. Big putt. We'll go pink to purple, you know, and then a bang.
Ah, that's a good putt to finish, baby. I think I am gonna go back to straddle and practice in line, but putt straddle for now. Whew. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna be throwing here. We're just gonna go until we ace. I'm gonna be giving one to the Patreons. What's cool about it, honestly, is for Circle 2, which is the $5 tier, if you're a Patreon for a year, you're gonna pay for a C tier entry for me. The second tier will pay for a B tier, third tier will pay for an A tier, and the fourth tier will pay for a Pro Tour event once I'm able to finally start getting into those. So, a lot of fun over there. Thank you so much for Discmania for sending these out. I had a much better time with them than I thought after I actually warmed up and figured out how to throw with my correct form. I had to really think about that. Uh, there'll be a video going over on Bedanza Bogies that shows you the first couple holes before I actually stopped and reshot this video because I wanted to make it actually a good video for you guys and I was just throwing with terrible, terrible form. Uh, we finally got a new leaderboard which we'll just put over me right here while I'm hopefully not throwing. Hopefully I finally get one, but video's gonna end when I get that ace and uh, hopefully that'll be good. You can definitely check out the last Johnny Putter reviews right down here with the Savior. I'll put the whole playlist. Got the Savior and the Love, which is also a really good disc. Uh, excited for these to come out they're not going to make my bag they're not nearly comfortable enough for me i have to really manipulate the way that i hold them for putting and for throwing but they're definitely good disc as i hope you were able to tell okay love you guys bye finally not so too long 